what's up guys it is the JD path and I'm making a new video showing you guys how to get Borderlands 2 save editor so you can do all those modding needs that you have alright so the first thing is I do not have my capture card right now it is at my friend's house he was borrowing it borrowing it so I'm gonna have to use my phone so just bear with me guys it'll be easy still just not as good looking <laughs> alright guys so first thing first thing you're gonna need to do is go on over to your this you need one of these flash drives doesn't matter how many gigabytes it has and you just need to plug it in to your PS3 alright now go over to your PS3 and go to save data utility go to your borderlands to save game your account make sure it's yours make sure it says yours thing press triangle copy it and go to your USB device uh, yes and yes alright when that is done you're pretty much done right now for PS3 part. Now take out your flash drive and you're gonna wanna go put it into your computer. Um and then on your computer, oh something might pop up for you, but for me it did, but I don't know about for you. So just X out of that. You're not gonna need that. Um, you're gonna need a couple programs. Alright. Um, here they are. WinRAR, if you don't have it. Visual C. Dependencies. Brute Force Save Data. And Gibbs Save Editor. You're, you're not gonna have to copy this down. I'll have it in the description, just showing you right there. And, that is that. So, once you have all those just uh, downloaded, first go on into Brute Force Save Data, and you should see a an option your your folder type thing right here your item. Once you, if you see if you don't see that, you might not have something downloaded correctly. So just get on get that all fixed up if you don't have it working so just click on that once and go down here to decrypt PFD yes and you're done with brute force now go into gibd.borderlands2.saveedit and it should open up like that go to open and then if this doesn't automatically go right here search for computer or you can go down these drop down menu go to your flash drive ps3 save data blues and right here um this is the most this is very important you have to click on this drop down menu and go to ps3 save files if it's not to that or whatever console you're using if it's not to that then it will not work so just open and there you go. Now it's all open. Now what you can do is you can change around your character, which I am actually going to do. I like the the bone blinder. I've just been wanting that. And let's see, special edition fired up. I'll just have that. You can change around what you want to be. If you want to be an assassin, psycho, anything really that you want to be. Uh, you can change around your vehicles, your money, which I am actually going to do. <laughs> All I'm going to do is actually... There we go. It, it, just for fun. Oh, and you can give yourself as much iridium as you want. There. Um, which I honestly don't like doing this because it takes the fun out of the game for me, but if this is what you want to do... This is what you want to do. So this is made for you. Um, and then Torg tokens. I honestly have no clue what that is. Or Seraph crystals. So yeah. Um, fast travel. 
is your fast travels. You can check which ones you have that you want. So, and then this is the fun part. You can you can actually make your own weapons how you want them, or you can paste a code for one that's already pre-made by somebody. You can look them up. Uh, yeah, so that'll be fun. Get really good weapons. Um, these are this is level 72 purging infinity. Oh my gosh, this thing has. This thing is amazing. It has 129,000 damage, which is amazing. And I almost forgot. You have, if you want to change your level, go on over to experience level. Change it to whatever level you want to be. I will 72, and then make sure you press sync on experience points because it'll sync it up to whatever that is. It'll make you that level. And then there's your overpower level, your general skill point. Don't mess with these two. General skill points or specialist skill points, don't mess with those. And that's that. Raw. If you know how to mess with this stuff, then go right on ahead and do it. it you can just do your, um, your skill points in here. Skill data, you click on that. Go to You click on collection. And then on this right here, you can change all of them. Just set them to 5. Set them all to 5 if you want to have them. So they're all maxed out. Even if they are not 5, it'll still um, put them to the max, whatever they are. And they're all at least 5, so. Or at maximum 5, so. It'll work for every single one. And that's pretty much all of that right there. Once you're done messing around with this part. Excuse me. Um, Go to save. And you're gonna want to find your your file, so you can go to your USB, PS3, save data, whatever, all that. And then you go to your go to your um save right there, and just click save and overwrite that. Um, when you're done with that, you can X out of this because you're done with that. Go back into brute force to open. Oops. Um. Refresh it like three, four, five times, however many times, just to make sure that you have it all set. And you're gonna want to click on that again. Uh, update PFD. You have to do this, and you have to do it in the order that I'm doing it, or it will mess up. So you update PFD, update PFD full, and that's that. You'll see something flash. The words will change, and then you go to encrypt PFD. Encrypt yes and you are now done with that so that's pretty much it for the computer part let's go back to the PS3 let's actually correctly eject it and now we can pull it out and put it back in our PS3 alright now back on the PS3 guys this is pretty simple all you have to do save that utility Go to your Borderlands, or no, go to your US, USB device. You press on that. You press triangle on your Borderlands 2 file. Copy. Yes, and yes. That's pretty much it. All you have to do is go into the game now. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.